Hi, I'm Gus with Cypress Door and Glass, and today I'm going to show you the basics on replacing a glass unit in a residential window. Now, what we have here is a vinyl residential window sash, and the glass is held in one of two ways. It either has a stop, a glass stop here, and you can tell by the seam that goes around it. This can be on the inside or the outside, doesn't matter. Or you will have a screw holding these four sections of framing together, and that will be accessed from the side. You don't have to take your sash out or anything. You can look right at it and go to either side and see if it's got that seam right here. And you'll know that that's a glass stop. This side does not have the seam. So the glass is obviously not coming out this direction. Okay, so to get the window stops, the glass stops out of this particular window sash, we're gonna use a putty knife. The putty knife will slide into this crack here where the glass stop is and it'll kind of distribute some of the some of the pressure if we have to use a screwdriver it'll mar some of the vinyl here most of the time so i will sit here pop this in so that is slid in between the glass stop and the window sash i'm going to use the second putty knife just to kind of work it this particular one needs to come up and out of here. Some of them slide directly in, some of them have to come in up and out. This one has to come up and out. So I'm starting in the middle on this one because this one has mitered corners that hold this glass stop in. You can see this glass stop, it's either gonna be mitered or it's gonna be flat. If it's flat, you're gonna to have to take two out prior to taking the other two because the second two that go in there will butt up against the first one and you won't be able to get it out of there. The mitered one, kind of start in the middle. The other one, if it's flat, start at the end and kind of work your way over. So I'll take the rest of these glass stops out of here and we'll see where we're at. Okay, so we've taken all the glass stops out of this window and you're left with something like this. You'll see the glass unit in here. There'll be some shims around the side and now we have to pop this out. It doesn't just come right out most of the time. So what we have to do is take a razor knife and run it on the opposite side of the glass stop between the vinyl, between the vinyl and the glass. Obviously wear gloves and use proper safety, safety protection. But this will break, it's either gonna be a silicone seal or they're gonna use glazing tape that holds this and sticks this to the window sash. Flip this around. Work this blade in here. Now it's starting to come down, so I'll stick my blade in, just kind of work it over. If you're replacing this, it's already broken, it's already foggy, so if you do damage it, it's not the end of the world. A little bit in here. It starts to peel back. Okay, and that's it. Now we have the window sash. I'm going to set that aside for a second. And we have our damaged window unit with the broken seal. So we're going to pop the new replacement window unit in here. But if you're going to measure this, the best way for you to do it, if you're going to do it yourself, is to take those glass stops off. You can see it's already stuck to the vinyl, so you don't really have to worry about the glass falling out. You can measure your width and measure your height. And you're also going to need to measure the thickness. These are always nine times out of ten going to be eighth inch panes and there'll be thickness varies it's seven eighths of an inch overall for the ig unit it is half inch it just varies and this is this is kind of where you need to remove the stops so you can see how deep the glass goes so we'll get the sash situated we'll pop in this next uh, piece of glass should be good to go Okay, so we've gotten the old glass out of there. We have taken our razor knife and taken the silicone out of here. It's either gonna be the tape, the glass tape, glazing tape, which you'll see, it's obviously a tape. It's like a foam tape, uh, or it's gonna be silicone like this. So in order to seal our new window unit, I'm gonna run some more silicone. Just one continuous bead all the way around the perimeter here. Now I've already put the glass in to kind of see where it fits and where I need to run the silicone line. 
Might, go, might be a little bit smaller, might be a little bit larger. Just depends on how you ordered your unit. It's one continuous bead. We'll take our glass and we'll pop this in. So this one fits nice and tight. It's absolutely perfect fit. So we will not be putting the shims back into this window, this window sash. And now we're gonna pop the glass stops in. So the glass stop is gonna go in exactly how it came out. You could start wherever you'd like, unless you have the flat angled ones, these mitered ones, you can start wherever. But the flat angled ones, remember you always have to put two in prior, prior to the other two. So it just snapped right in. Go to the other side now. These are going in fairly easy. Sometimes you have to hit them in. You could use uh, uh, like a wood part of the hammer. Don't use the head of the hammer, but you can kind of slide them in and tap them in. These things will definitely take a little bit of abuse, but not too much. We do this a lot around here, so we're kind of used to how much we can get away with. Bend this little sucker in there. If your window is old, you have uh, your vinyl might be brittle. You can kind of see. There we go. You can kind of see if you're able to bend it. If it starts cracking or anything, you're not going to be able to do this. Well, not the, to the degree that I just did it. You'll have to kind of work your way around, and then you'll be left with one edge. Okay, so we put the rest of the glass stops in. They've all popped in. The other side is siliconed. So that'll be fine. If there's any silicone around the edge here, you're gonna to wanna to clean that off. The glass is obviously dirty from putting my hands all over it and the way the manufacturing process is. So we're gonna clean this glass and this window will get put back in the way it came out and you're gonna be good to go. If you have any questions at all, please call us or email us. Any questions, we'll be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching the video.